Welcome to Putnam Chevrolet. My name's Phil. I'll be your sales guy here today. To, we have the new 2022 Silverado on display for you here today. Um, I'd like to go over a few things with you on this. <coughs> they redesigned the front end of this thing is the main update. So you'll notice a couple things right away, right? The grill stands out in your face. They, they changed the bow tie up a little bit, made it a little bit bigger, moved it up a little bit. So now you know when you're driving in front of, or in front of this thing, you look in your rearview mirror, you know that's a Chevy behind you, right? <laughs> Come around here a little bit. We'll notice a few things coming across here. The grill outlet's a little bit bigger. We redesigned this, made these headlights brighter, more efficient, and more visible to everybody right so now these lights are on the road in the bar ditches where they need to be instead of up into space and in someone else's eyes okay uh cool thing about this the edge lit led driving light okay um when that comes on certain sequences this will actually be a sequential LED right so it'll start here it'll fade in all the way around and fade out fade in and fade out you're gonna like that it's a nice touch from Chevy okay a couple little Easter eggs that they've done put a little bow tie right in the um, right in the reflector there nice little touch the other big design that they changed is this this front piece right here we like to call this the sideburns so they redesigned the sideburns. I kept my sideburns the same, but redesigned the sideburns, made it flow down through the bumper a little bit better. They're still functional, okay? Still functional, so the air is gonna go hit the front of this pickup and shoot through it and by it instead of the pickup having to push the air around it, okay? So a couple cool things that they got going on in the front end of this. So. Step back, take a couple looks at this. I'd like to show you what's going on under there. So in this new 2.7 high output setup that we've got going on, <laughs> this is our inline four dual voluted turbo, okay? Making about 430 foot-pounds of torque, 310 horsepower, okay? Put that up against your 6.2 and see how it does, right? On paper, they're doing pretty good. So, how do we get all of that out of the little engine? Well, we kept the piston and the bore pretty big, a lot like the old 5.7s. Uh, but the dual voluted turbo is basically like a twin turbo all in one. How does that make us different from the competition? half the moving part not quite half the moving parts but less moving parts okay the v6 like our ford counterpart twin turbos a lot more stuff going on a lot more moving parts so this is definitely a more reliable uh higher value setup than our counterparts down the street um gonna be making good power gonna be getting you down the road and uh i i love the whistle that it makes in coming out of that dual voluted turbo and i think you will too Okay, moving around here. Everything's pretty much set up where any information that you need will be displayed right in the new driver information display. Okay, come on, let me show you a few things. So from about here back, they've kept everything about the same. The big stuff's on the inside. We'll get to that quick, right? Um, so I won't spend a lot of time on this. I did just want to mention the good old window sticker. I love the window sticker, right? It tells us it's a 22 crew cab, uh, 2.7 turbo high output, made it to the eight speed transmission, wearing red hot. You're gonna love this color. Everyone else does, right? So uh, all the safety stuff, standard safety stuff, standard equipment, all your warranties, all your um, Wi-Fi, the OnStar is gonna be a big, big value to you. I'll show you, help you hook that up. You'll be able to use your phone with that, start the pickup, do a whole bunch of, check your rewards points and do a bunch of that stuff. All standard stuff that we're gonna, we're gonna get you going and, and uh, set up on your new ride. Follow me.
come around the back side. All of this is pretty much the same. Looking at it from the back, not going to notice a lot of di differences. We still do get a soft open tailgate. And that red hot just really pops in this sun today, doesn't it? Come around here. Let's get to the meat and potatoes of this thing. Come around here. Didn't change the back seat a lot. You still got a ton of leg room back here. Ton of headroom, so we're still going to be able to wear our cowboy hats out to out to the dance on Saturday nights and keep you looking good and, and uh, riding in style. Check that out. Get to the fun stuff here. We changed this. We changed a lot of the front end of this thing. So the door seal, you'll notice the giant uh, speaker bezel that I think they did a little bit better job on the stereo than the last generation. Um, get your ACDC going and all that good stuff and it sounds good. They changed some door handle stuff, right? Made the, the door handle a little bolder, a little more muscular, what we needed it to be. Nice wood trim all the way around. So now I'd really like to show you the inside of this thing. Jump in with me. I'll meet you around the other side. So welcome to the new 22 Chevy Silverado. Notice the front dash greets you in an awesome display. Chevy, big bold Chevy display. Starts out. Some nice features on that. We'll start this thing up. Nice and quiet. Inside and out. Okay. So our nice big new screen that everybody's been screaming about everybody loves this thing so um, I think they did a really really good job with the functionality making it big but not in your way so you can still keep your eyes on the road safety first keep your eyes on the road but still have a nice massive screen okay so we can go to maps and our nice big Google map I don't think that there's any bigger Google map on this on these vehicles than this right here right so we're still in demo mode here, doing some fun stuff. We'll turn all this on. Okay, the touch screen is, is very responsive, very fast, very easy to work. Um, Google Assistant is gonna be able to use all your voice recognition and you'll be able to just talk to it just like we do with our phones. Move the piano switches up to here. Made a nice little wood grain ledge to rest your, rest your fingers on while you're driving so you can keep your eyes on the road um, and going down the road in style so you can catch all everybody looking at you and giving you the looks so change this a little bit here uh, kept the same functionality but just made the buttons a lot better um, I really think that they improved the way that these buttons actually turn they feel more high-end and um, just a just a lot better value feel than the last generation okay a couple little plugs real quick take a look at the floor liners that we put in this thing that's our that's our accessory department our Pucklets protection plan here at Pucklets Chevrolet we've got the best accessory department in the state hands down guaranteed I promise you that all day long move around over here to the new uh, driver information display if you can see that check this out so we got a whole bunch of customizable stuff I can change it to a classic layout I can change it to a progressive layout this one's my favorite. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the GMC stuff and the, the cool digital glass display. This is fully customizable. You can change whatever you want on this whole screen. You can change whether you want tire pressures on this side, clock on that side, left side, right side, lower gauges, info pages. Tell you what, you can you can make this thing do whatever you want and show you whatever gauges you want, how you want them. Okay, heated steering wheel, heated seats, that's all part of this LT package, this high value package. Um, it's gonna get you rolling down the road, looking good, in style. We can't keep them on the lot. This one I think is, is already sold, so um, we'll, get you, we'll get you the one that you need and uh, rocking down the road. But what I'd really like to do, get you in this thing. Let me show you what this 2.7 is really all about. 
what the, all that torque really means and put to bed the the talk about this four cylinder not not being what it should be and it is the total opposite of that i can guarantee you that jump in with me let's go to town and we'll check this thing out